This portion of Project Super 9, what we're going to be doing is replacing the turn signals. And after we do the front turn signals, we are going to put a clear lens on the rear and move the tail lights from the fender up into the tail of the scooter. Let's see. If well, I was working on the other side and getting the turn signal plugged into the other side. The wires over here slipped inside and they're unreachable. So I was kind of hoping I would be able to do that without taking the front off. But since I can't get to it without taking the front off, I'm going to have to do that. And I got four screws to take out. Two up here, two on the side, and then we need to do all those plastic clips I was talking about. One screw here, and one up here. We're going to start by taking the two clips off in here and you have one up top and you can tell because it's painted black like the, the, back, the back side is painted and then we have another one down here that you just hook and you unclip and what I'm using is just a tiny uh, sh short screwdriver to get to it. Now as you see this whole piece is coming loose but what's going on is it's still hooked down here like I said before so let me pull this out and show you what I'm talking about see this plastic piece here and then it goes back in here and it's hooked over this this rising part so what I'm going to use to get that loose is I have this hook tool here and I have another one if this can't do the work do the job and I hook it and I lift it up and over and now it's open up enough to where I could probably reach in and grab those wires and plug in my my new light that I'm going to use since I got the other side already hooked up I'm not going to take the whole front off but you know how to take the front off now as long as you unhook this for sure and there's a couple little clippies right here if you can't see it um, one right here and one on the top side you want to be careful that you don't break those off when you take it apart what I'm going to do is just go ahead and reach in here and fish the wires out and I'll plug my turn signal into it and then we'll put it all back together <clears throat> a couple things about this is the green wire and it's hard to see but the green wire right here is your ground and this orange wire that's your left turn signal the light blue wire on the other side is your right turn signal and of course there's a corresponding green wire for ground on the other side so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in the way it's supposed to be and I'll start putting this back together and the top up here you just push it back together that snaps in the bottom here you want to be sure that you're on the correct side of this this little raised part and that popped in and then of course you have the one hook right here you can push both of them up pull this down a little bit and of course that pops together too so now what's left is just to put the the four screws in and then we'll mount this up there like that and we'll be done with the front turn signals and then we'll move to the back now that I got it all back everything's wired up the way it's supposed to be I want to test it and right turn signals working and we're going to test the left one left turn signals working so we're good there 
when you're putting this back up in there I had problems with this bolt being in the way with of this bolt here so I have to loosen it up a little bit when I tighten it up now the wiring you don't want to crush the wiring so be very careful that you don't crush it when you're installing it and I like the wiring to go inward that way and it seems to stay out of the way of everything when you put it up in there and install it stay tight in this position and just run your screw up in there get my driver on it all that's left to do now is just tighten up the last bit here and you have to maneuver it because there's not a lot of room to get the wrench in so you gotta get the wrench in from behind that's in a few wires here that you need I need to tuck up in there like like that those are out of there now one last test of the front turn signals to the left there's the right now to the back of the scooter moving the seat it's already loose from the carburetor Try to pull this up and put these two plugs in moving the rack back here helps you get out the two bolts down underneath here so you can separate the top of the body makes it a little bit easier to get the lens out and the back part of it because we are going to move the tail lights up into the lens back here so pulling this off is necessary There's, there's two bolts, body bolts, up here on top that hold the body in. We're going to go ahead and take these out. One here and one over there. Not only are we going to pull the lens out, but we're pulling the whole uh, back side of it out as well. And to make it easier, you can lift the edge of the body up like this and pull it out relatively easy. Now to get the rear tail lens out, we've already got these two loosened up. And there's a bolt up here that you need to take out. And I've loosened it. This little button here comes apart and what it does is it holds the two pieces, body pieces together and if you pull that out, pull that piece out, right here this little piece, then the rest of it will come out and the two body pieces come out and it's just easier to get to everything and there it is it's loose and the bolts we want at are right down there and right over there and I like to use an, an extension and just get at them from from right here 